growing as well, right? The whole idea of homeschooling. What you? So yeah, uh, our team is mainly focusing on the diversity that which uh, Indian culture has. So we have diversity in different segments. So we are leveraging the diversity of handlooms and uh, artifacts. Okay. Art. So uh, we are an e-tailing company. The name <coughs> of the company is uh, Sanskriti. Let's celebrate together. Yeah. So mainly focus would be uh, uh, state-wise, which kind of handloom or, hand or which kind of uh, artifact or uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, textile is famous. We would be, we would be making one platform and giving opportunity to all across India to actually choose from different states. Now, uh, why this came uh, came to my mind? Uh, because uh, in in our companies also now diversity and inclusion is very important. So there are uh, uh, different kind of people from different states and different kind of festivals are also celebrated. So we celebrate uh, Onam. There's a different kind of textile for that. Yep. We celebrate Durga Puja. This is different kind of uh, uh, textile for that. And everybody wants to be part of that group. Yep. So if you are Punjabi and uh, want to celebrate Onam, you don't have that Munga and those right. textiles. Right. So we are giving the opportunity. You can go to a state where it belongs to and you can buy from that. Okay. So uh, uh, mainly our uh, value proposition would be connect with one diverse, uh, connect with one connect with our diverse cultures that is we are promoting the diversity and inclusion part yeah and also uh, promoting the indian arts crafts and textile okay. now, uh, after uh, uh, narendra modi uh, this government came into existence he, they are promoting very much on the textiles and handloom part yeah. they are also in, in talks of uh, setting up 13 textile parks yeah. so we want to leverage that and there is an opportunity to play in that particular field and to uh, come up with a, a, a one a one stop company where you can get uh, textiles and handling from different states. Or different okay, so your key partners here would be actually the, the manufacturers. Yes. You, are, you are the aggregator of this. Yes. Right? So you'll yes. provide a platform, yes. but you'll have a sourcing sort of a team that goes around yes. uh, to each state sourcing yes. these different yes. artifacts. Yes. So we, we, pl we are planning to actually remove the mediators. Okay. We are planning to go directly to the manufacturers okay. who has the capability and uh, uh, exposure and expertise to actually pay, play in this particular field and directly source from them and uh, then uh, supply chain would be completely outsourced yep. we will just be uh, kind of uh, we will just kind kind of getting the stuff yep. and then we'll outsourcing as per the requirement uh, as per the delivery and completely delivery would be completely outsourced sure. uh, and would be uh, uh, again key partners would be government bodies definitely every state has a text uh, textile and hand handloom body sure. so we would like to connect with them also uh, in order to uh, benefit and want to leverage that potential. Uh, then there are NGOs uh, who are uh, working with these artists and craftsmen yeah. so that they get a livelihood. So we can directly partner with those NGOs yes. to source uh, the materials. There is a social angle as well. Yes. 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 CSR uh, is oh. also part of that model. Mm. Yeah, so this is a fashion designers, budding fa fashion designers. Yeah. We're not going to Nita Lula and all, but uh, fresh uh, fashion designers from uh, NITs and all who, who, who want to uh, make themselves, prove themselves, we can give them opportunities. Sure. I mean, uh, recently I was just watching this uh, Band Baja Bright show yeah. where Sabdisa Chida is a part of. Now, what he did, he actually made one coat with the help of a lungi. Yeah. So that was pretty unique and if you can give that kind of touch, uh, we can uh, we can hire the fashion right. designers to so get that also kind the of long tail, right? So yes. you have got the hotshot designers yes. on the one hand. There's a long tail long of so tail. many designers, aspiring designers, right. who may be able to create yes. unique designs, but they don't get a platform yes. for it. Yes. So you could be the aggregator for the long tail of fashion. Yes. yes. Okay. Good one. Good round of applause for them. Thank you. Yeah. So um, our idea is to bring back the Kirana Walas. Uh, with the big big baskets and the more uh, online frequency uh, becoming more common among working class population and families, we are our idea is to bring back the Kirana Walas. So this has come from a simple thought. Uh, actually, when uh, uh, she proposed to me the idea, I think I, I immediately bought into the idea. Is one of the reasons is I live in a place called Badlapur. I don't know how many of you. Yes. Really have heard of it. Apart from the movie, yeah, apart from the movie, <laughs> set aside. So uh, I don't have big, uh, you know, like a demand or a hyper city around the area. But what I have is a Kirana wala, and uh, he comes and delivers things. I reach home at 10:30 in the night, 
and he comes and delivers things right at that point in time. I just have to give him a call saying that, bhaiya, chai, food, ye, wo, jo bhi chahiye, wo bhej do. And in 10 minutes, he's in my, in, in my house and he delivers. And the wealth of products that he has is amazing. If I want a salsa sauce, he has it. You know, it's like in a place like Badlapur, you are actually getting salsa sauce and these things, you know, it's, it's wonderful. So I think that's the reason why I immediately bought into the idea that this is something that's going to take over if, uh, you know, take over big baskets and everything that is online more better than, uh, you know, I think, uh, I, I don't think I would go back home and log into my computer, click online shopping, go click this, that, wait for three days for my products to come in, give them a timeline which is, which may be like, is four to, four to eight, but I, I'm, I won't be there at four to eight or call it at my office then carry all that stuff there I don't think I'll do that this is more easier so uh, the idea comes from there so what is in it for a customer I think uh, one is the wealth of products the quality of products uh, second thing is on on call service and uh, in store service like both available so that, those are the few things that is there as a value proposition for a customer. So, uh, sorry, what is the offering here? You will provide the interface for anyone to connect to any mom and pop shop. Yeah. So no, we will we will be the mom and pop shop in, in a locality, up. and we will diversify. So from one locality, so we will okay, call so ourselves like the small uh, convenient shops. Really, shops, right? yeah. So like we we'll call ourselves the apna kirana wala. Yeah. And. Uh, from one locality, a locality, it's like a McDonald's. Yeah. They started off one place and then, you know, slowly and steadily. Now every station has a McDonald's. So it's, it's like that. So every locality will have a Apna Kirana Wala. Okay. So how will you compete against, let's say, a future group? They are planning to open up, let's say, 5,000 convenience stores yeah. across India yeah. next two, three years. Yeah. So uh, one of the key things is that here you can buy a 5 rupee product and still get it delivered at your home okay. within the next 5 minutes. You don't need to spend 400,000 rupees, 2,000 rupees okay. at a particular time. So our stores will be open from right 6 a.m. in the morning to 12 in the night. Sure. And also so, uh, they have stopped doing the home delivery. Yeah. All the like uh, Hyper City, V Mart, all the big uh, players, they have stopped doing the home delivery. So yeah. that's this concept. Okay, so that's a differentiator that you have, right? Yeah. Delivered to your food, to your uh, doorstep. So you want a you want a shaving cream? You can get it delivered at your home. You don't need to okay. go down, wait at the shop, get okay. the shaving cream. Okay. So and more or more or less, we are moving towards this on-demand world, right? I want it. I want things to come to me. Right? Yeah. Any business where we are used to going to some place, that entire equation is getting reversed, right? Reversed. So things come to you rather than you go to that. Yeah. Uh, service. All right. Good idea. Thank you so much. Good idea. Uh, what do you? Uh, uh, being from the mutual fund industry, our idea is around the same. Uh, how do how do we better our existing business? So we thought of mutual funds uh, again. Uh, so what value proposition we are offering is we are basically uh, uh, basically targeting audience. Uh, whosoever is our basically target audience, we are uh, helping them and is their financial goals. Basically, uh, for a person who is like 25 years of age and uh, just got married. And probably uh, everybody will expand their family down the line. So he'll have a kid. Uh, so he, when the when his kid is around 18, so he will need money for his uh, basically uh, higher education, uh, college, and uh, fees. Fees for that is like massive in today's day. We don't know what is what it is going to be uh, 20 years hence. So basically, for those kind of things, we help you through a tool called a SIP. So uh, wherein every month you can start a SIP and basically aggregate at end of the one year, two year, three year, aggregate some kind of money. Basically that is one thing and we are tax efficient. So basic uh, the, and the difference between a savings account and versus investing in a mutual fund is like in a savings account you get, nowadays you start getting some kind of return, say 4%, 6% if there's bank offering, both kind of thing. So, but here yes, still the returns are higher than that. Uh, I can like vouch for it. I have in this industry for the last eight years. A mutual fund, liquid fund returns. It's basically a product liquid fund which many of us here wouldn't uh, understand. But then, of course, one who understands this product, uh, so we give returns higher than a savings account any given part of time. 
So that's the basic product. So other other products you can get higher returns also, double digits. So you can part, uh, participate in equity also to the mutual fund route, wherein you're using the expertise of a fund manager to manage your money rather than you doing it on your own. So how are we, uh, again, differentiating, uh, like if our, we have distributors, our key partners includes distributors, and then uh, what added, what we have added onto it, we are giving you an app. So like app, app nowadays has become very common. So we're giving you an app also, you can invest online, not see any guy from Birla also, you can invest in Birla Mutual Fund for that matter. And uh, uh, Birla is a trusted brand uh, that's known to the world. So we're giving you ease of transaction and performance track record. We've been there in the industry for the tw last 20 years. Uh, our key activities include marketing, sales, and distribution. Uh, our key resources are, of course, people. People are the key. And uh, how do we manage customer relations? We manage customer relations through call center, uh, app, uh, direct interface, and we do a, uh, quite a bit of activity like the investor education. Our customer segment is corporates and individuals. So not only individuals, but corporates also. Where corporates have huge chunk of money which they don't utilize. So whenever there are mismatches for our corporates, uh, basically when they want to use that money for business expansion, till the time they can invest with us and basically get some kind of returns rather than keeping money for corporates, it's a current account. For individuals, individuals it's a saving account. So corporates can earn some money on that also, that idle money. Basically, and uh, cost structure for us is the pro uh, progresses which we need to pay to our distributors. So that's one uh, aspect of, uh, like that's one cost for us. Then of course, marketing, uh, marketing and the infrastructure we build around uh, branches across India. So that's that's the cost for us. And revenue stream is of course, the more the money people invest with us. Uh, so we get the fees out of it.